to the elder of this show. For talking videos. Hey guys, welcome to the show. In this episode, we've got a little bit of Battlefield 3 on this brand new, although at the time of this, it's been out a couple of days, Kirk Canned Expansion Pack. And I thought, well, why not bring you actually Kirk Canned as I uh, land my initial thoughts and impersonation, or impressions. Why do I always get that word mixed up? I'm not quite sure, but I seem to do it a lot. <laughs> so we've got Kirk Canned here. Now, as you guys, particularly the fellas that have been with me for quite a while and following my battlefield antics from the beginning, well, you're aware that I am in, indeed into the bone a conquest player. Don't get into rush all that much. Don't uh, you know the squad, the team death matches, the team death matches, and all that. Uh, don't get into that all that much. I am I'm a conquest player. I, that's what I enjoy. That is, that's where I reside on the battlefield for most of my time. So, Conquest on the Kirkhand. Uh, the four maps, of course. Uh, four new maps, which is great. Love new maps. You can't hardly ever go wrong with new maps. It can be done, but you have to really work to screw up new maps on a game. But, that being said, Conquest on these new maps is completely different than Conquest that you, well, I mean, the core of the game. Uh, comparing it to that type of conquest model where both teams start and little Labus is proceeding to yell in the other room. <laughs> but both teams start with no flags taken at a, you know, separate independent bases and you run in and try to capture what you can and, and go from there. Now this conquest assault, which most of these new maps are, are running, is... Basically, one team starts with all the flags, and the other team starts with a couple of bases and a few more tickets. Not an extraordinary amount of tickets. I don't think... I understand the premise. Uh, there's a couple of things that I like about this setup a little better. One of the main things that I like about this a little bit more so than standard Conquest as what we might be used to is the action does seem to start a hell of a lot faster. Uh, you're pretty much getting shot at from the get-go. You're either shooting or being shot at as soon as the match begins. You don't have this kind of lull period where you go out and capture the, fir you know, the first flag, maybe two flags, before you really see any enemy to engage. We don't really necessarily have that problem on this setup because those guys, you know, some of them are going to spawn at the flag that's closest to where you're deploying, and of course that's going to be the first flag you run into. So, I apologize for, for for little Avis in there. I may have to pause this and get on him here in a minute. But that being said, so as you can, you know, like I said, that being said, you can see how it works out so that you are running into the enemy a lot quicker, a lot quicker. But uh, this map, for instance, I mean, you've got five flags, man, five flags. Okay, so you're going to have to hold at least three to stop your ticket bleed. So you have to hold at least three flags to stop your ticket bleed on flags. And you start off with what? 25, 30 extra tickets when you're the assaulting team? I don't think 30 tickets is quite sufficient to capture three flags on this big-ass map. Um, you know, to me, that would seem a little more balanced if it was a little more in the correct perspective. I mean, you shouldn't get a whole lot more tickets. That's ridiculous. I understand that. But it, it is a disadvantage on these bigger maps in, in particular. The smaller maps, you know, with the four points, three points, not so much. I, it kind of works out pretty good there with the, the amount of tickets that they allot you. But on these bigger maps, I don't simply don't think the assaulting team gets a lot enough ticket difference to begin with because there's just no way to overcome that deficit to, uh, to break even. I mean, I guess you could if the other team completely spawned way back at the back of the map and you rushed in hard, but you know, that, that being said, it's I have some concerns with this assault, the uh, conquest assault, as they call it. Uh, so that's one of them. 
uh, but it, like I said, it is a trade-off. And so that, it is kind of fun in that the action starts faster, but it's, you got the trade-off of, of the disadvantage. But so you know, I could live with that. I don't have you know that's not a game breaker for me. I still enjoy Conquest. I am still having a good time with Conquest, and I like the new maps. They are a lot of fun. Some of these maps are, are pretty awesome. This map uh, is, is pretty is good. I like it. I have a lot of fun on this map uh, now that I'm getting reacquainted with it here. Mm, excuse me. But here's my big problem with Conquest on the Kirkhand expansion. Every one of them, uh, every map, every setup. Uh, it's a big glaring problem. It's the same problem I had with Bad Company 2. And most of you guys, if you're Conquest players, you probably know where I'm headed with this. Double playing the maps. As in, you play one side of the map and then play, you know, you switch teams and play the map again. Not my favorite thing in the world. Haven't enjoyed it since ever. <laughs> really do not enjoy doing that. I wish the maps would just rotate on through. I wish the maps would rotate on and mix in with the uh, the regular maps. You know, I, I'm not real sure about how this works. I'm getting some feedback that says these servers are running both, um, but I have yet to be playing on a server that has the new maps, the Kirkhan maps, and seeing an, uh, an original core map rotate in. Now, that being said, like I said, you do double play the maps, and it does take one hell of a long time to go through all the maps, double playing them. So when you're looking at what, eight matches minimum to double play all the maps, it's a pretty good time investment. <laughs> Maybe I'm not hanging around long enough. I don't know. But it doesn't seem, from my point of view, that it does that, although I am getting some reliable reports and uh, some feedback saying that it in fact does happen on some servers so maybe I just need to check my playlist uh, I, I'm kinda curious I need to look into that a little more uh, I hope I hope that it does I really do hope that it does is that's an interchangeable uh, on the maps and with this and, and, uh, and the core and, but like I said my biggest biggest beef by far is double playing the maps uh, Really didn't enjoy it on Battlefield, on Bad Company. I really don't enjoy it on this Kirkham. And I can understand their, you know, their their logic in trying to do that, or their logic in doing it. You know, trying to it, they pulled it off. Their logic in doing it, particularly with the assault conquest, and that you know, one team has all the checkpoints and the other team is pushing in to take them and win the map I, I can see where you would be inclined to switch guys back and forth but why really you know to me no don't do that don't do that I'm so sick of that man look one team has all the flags the other team has extra tickets leave it at that man leave it at that I mean, it, I'm not worried about it I'm not worried about which team I'm on it doesn't make a difference to me. Now, that being said, I do really like, there's at least one of the maps, and I can't remember the name of it, that has a four four capture points, four flags, and it starts off a little different in that each team has a base and two flags. Well, why can't they do that? You know, if they want to get the action rolling quicker, that seems like a better solution to me than this assault, conquest assault stuff. Not a big fan of that, but I do, uh, I do not mind the... Uh, you know, two flags, two flags, and a base for each team and, and fire it off. That seems like a lot better solution. Anyway, you Conquest brothers, let me know what you think about the uh, about the Conquest on Kirkhan. Later, guys. We're all just gamers. <laughs>